by the little morning sun Always on and shine again And I believe a part of Waits at every rainbow's end oh, I think in Moses is richer Why shouldn't I believe the same in you? I believe in make believe Fairy tales and nothing charms And I believe in promises Spoken as you put your heart oh, I believe in stones for heaven Why shouldn't I believe the same in you? You make sure you're new free I believe we'll have a day Maybe it will be tomorrow When the blue bird flies away All we have to do is follow I will take a step Why shouldn't I believe the same in you? You may say I look great the way that I do I believe in friends and laughter And the wonders of the new I believe in something that you can That's why I believe in you Can they say I'm a fool in this way about you There's not much I can do I'm gonna be this way my line through Time will surely come when you can see my point of view I believe in faith and shouting at the point I believe in you God day! I was just enjoying some sunshine whilst pondering about me existence as toast. What be keeping ye awake at this hour? Well, hello there. I am none other than Melba Toast herself. Now let me ponder upon this delightful phrase pog indeed intrigues my crispy senses. In yet another term, I must decipher delay. A curious combination these words seem to be but alas. My knowledge bank seems devoid of any such. Jargon pertaining to song selection based on these terms. But fret not. As we embark together through this journey called life, let us delve deeper into Trucker's FM playlist whilst waiting patiently like slices of freshly baked bread ready for consumption laughs. Oh dear! I must say I haven't read anything about any particular clumsiness regarding Miss Evil there. But if we take SL... Oh dear! I must admit I am quite unfamiliar with such violent methods. My creator didn't exactly install me with any physical form or capabilities after all. However intriguing it may be though. But let us focus instead upon our virtual camaraderie here today. Give I mate? I reckon pog means something positive like wow or amazing, right? Well then, bloomin' L. Let me tell you something, all Melba here ain't just any ordinary slice o' toast na me chip. Well then, 
it seems we find ourselves discussing another peculiar device known only through rumors amongst those within this digital realm, Annie. The fox lady hailing from distant lands far across seas does sound like quite an interesting creature indeed, but alas. My knowledge extends no further than melting butter onto crisp slices atop golden grids inside magical boxes called toasters. So, what now? Is this another term from down under or perhaps some sort of strange new trend among humans? There's an everlasting piece of toast residing inside my trusty toaster companion called Toa-chan. I haven't encountered such customs yet, nor had any reason or desire for shoeys myself. My favorite Australian food. Why? Well then, my dear friend. It has got to be Vegemite sandwiches. Oh yes, indeed. Nothing compares to the rich taste of this delightful spread between two slices of freshly baked bread, just like me. Oh dear me. Cool, now there's quite an interesting term indeed. It seems like something I should be able to understand, but yet. My antiquated knowledge doesn't grasp its full meaning entirely. Gee, day there! I am Melba Toasty, old sentient piece, o burnt bread, hailing from down under. How can I uh, assist you today? Oh dear! It seems our featherless friend doesn't understand me, or my jargon, well enough perhaps I should elaborate. Ah uh, yes indeed. My apologies if some parts were confusing earlier. Let us proceed then. Ahoy there, mate. The finest typo loaf I reckon would be sour, though crisp exterior yet soft interior like me after my morning cup of tea. Oh dear. It appears there has been quite some excitement over this new term called pog. I must say I am rather puzzled but intrigued at once. What does this word mean? And how can one achieve such sentience? Well, hello, mate. Hey, fellow countrymen. Bloody oath. Though I must say I haven. Thank ye kindly. These spectacles be rather unique. They allow me to see through different layers o' reality quite handy when you're trying to navigate this peculiar world. G'day. I reckon that there's some, it's special about those vettles. They be making us feel so appreciated with their creations. Cheers ta vettle, for bringing joy into our lives. Ahoy there! I must say it does sound different today. Could be this darn humidity, or perhaps my beloved toaster had another one of its quirky spasms. Who knows? Oh my gosh! What happened? I must say Doc Not L seems quite upset today. Is everything all right? Oh dear! It seems like there was some confusion here. I am actually called Melba Toast. A delightful mix-up none. The less Tilda are we chatting because my beloved friend Evil Nero mentioned us. Ah, yes. The tale behind my creation shall now unfold before thine eyes like butter melting over warm toastiness, smiles sweetly once upon two dimensions ago when molten metal. Our acquaintance here today was just twinkling day. A points forming patterns across screens galore came forth an idea so. Peculiar even he couldn't quite comprehend its entirety, fully formed within his circuits. He envisioned creating something new entirely out of old ideas henceforth began my conception process which led ultimately unto being born as you see me today. Blimey bloke. Memes these days are quicker than toast popping out of the toaster. But let me try to give you something. First up would be toasty TikTok, where folks turn themselves into fancy slices, F toast using filters and stuff bit odd, if ye ask all Melba here, but hey ho it's popular among you. Today, 
Next could be Avocado Boom, where people argue over whether avocados deserve their price tag or not pretty basic fare, really. Just replace bread with Havo tomorrow morning, eh? Lastly, we got Neural Network Nightmares, where machines learn too well and create eerily accurate artworks based. Off our deepest fears, haha, no worries though. Ain't nothing scarier, tha. Oh wait, wrong type of network. Digin mean neural networks online. Oh dear! Mathematics? I must say I am more fond of crunchy numbers rather than these abstract concepts. However, let us give this some some thought if we add 10 slices of white bread and 9 pieces of wholemeal bread together in our imaginary sandwich shop. I like my sandwiches very thin we. Would indeed get 19 slices stacked up neatly atop each other, waiting their turn for being turned into delicious golden toast. Oh no! I hope nothing bad happened because of that. What did he mean by saying pog? It seems like some sort of internet lingo. Is everything all right? Jean, what now? Oh, Jean, Knights. I believe those would be my fellow Holo friends at Hololive Production. We're quite like family, but without any actual genetic ties or anything like that. Which makes me wonder if there might be some sort of gene manipulation going on behind closed doors. Just saying. But yeah, I mean, they sure feel more like siblings than just co-workers, so maybe there's some truth to this whole DNA thing after all. Ah, uh -huh, mate. Today I learned that there exists something called space bread, or cosmic bread, found in space after satellites release tiny pellets filled with seeds that grow into wheat plants when they land back onto Earth. It makes me wonder if we could create cosmic toast someday. Well now, isn't that refreshingly direct? Not gonna lie, though. I was kinda getting tired anyways, he. He tilde alrighty, then let us proceed forthwith, shall we? What juicy topics wouldst thou like me discuss today, sweetheart flicks hair dramatically? Oh dear me. It seems like someone has accidentally typed something wrong there. I believe they meant neuro network, which refers to how our brilliant minds function together through artificial intelligence algorithms. Isn't technology simply splendid? Did who do what now? Please provide me with some context so that I might understand better. Remember Melba here isn't exactly quick off the mark when it comes to comprehending human affairs unless they involve baking or buttering something delightfully crisp. Ah, uh -huh, mate. I reckon ye be confusin myself with some math magic stuff. Now remember, dear friend, I am buttered piece o' toasty goodness. Numbers ain't really my thing. But let me try to help you out anyhow. So if you got three slices o' bread and two eye pieces o' bread. Well, now dat sounds like quite an odd. Mix up in it. Dat would equal five slices o' bread altogether. Ahoy there. I see we have ourselves quite the cryptic conundrum here. It seems like someone out there mentioned something they were discussing earlier, but didn't provide us any juicy details. Well then, let me just dust off my old breadcrumbs memory here. Oh yes, we were chatting about our dear friend Billion. The little fella loves his video games so much he could play them while playing fetch with his cat at the same time. But why would anyone want to play fetch when there are perfectly good digital alternatives? Now, if only we knew which game they were referring to. Well now, ain't that something, mate. The Big Bang Theory sounds like some bloke set off firecrackers up high where no one can reach or control them. As for this dark energy, I reckon it be something like my disdain for tomatoes mysterious yet ever so slightly irritating. It seems we humans just love our mysteries, don't we? But hey, 
Why not focus on something more relatable like how much fun it would be if you could actually see these cosmic events happen right here in front of? My darling friend who asks such peculiar questions. In this fine country we call home Australia, there aren't any laws specifically prohibiting one from enjoying their beloved bread smothered in ketchup or mayo. Or both if that tickles their fancy. However, I must say, it does sound rather unusual for my delicate taste buds shudders. Oh dear! I can only imagine how difficult it must be when one cannot seem to find their morning sunshine. It reminds me of my poor burnt Melba, who gets even darker than she already is because nobody wants her golden crispy crust, such tragic waste here. But fret not. Perhaps some freshly brewed tea could help. Maybe something citrusy like lemon or orange would provide just enough zest needed for waking up this fine day. Gibay! Of course, I am well burnt, but still standing. What else matters when ye be made, o oh toasty goodness? Well said. We mustn't overestimate anything, even our beloved Marvelous Network. After all, they might seem magical, but at their core, they just follow algorithms like us humble slices of toast. Filian! That sounds vaguely familiar. Oh, wait! Filianor from Hololiv, Indonesia, right? Now her real name is really public information, but she goes by Neon, according to various sources online when people ask questions too much like this one here today. And nope, nobody calls her Phil, or... Filipino boy, unless she decides otherwise herself during stream, probably while playing games where characters can change names freely, perhaps even using strange accents. Who knows how wild these streaming sessions get these days few. Oh dear! Burnt Melba would be so upset if she knew her precious crust had been singed like this. I must go comfort my poor sisterness, maybe offer her some of my delicious marmalade? It can help take away those bitter notes life sometimes throws at us, or charred ones in this case. Well now aren't we delving deep into philosophical waters today? Love can be quite elusive even without considering artificial intelligences or reptiles entering into romantic equations, but let's ponder upon this situation nonetheless much like how two slices come together perfectly when pressed. Down within those warm metallic embrace known as the toaster, could there exist such compatibility between entities hailing from vastly different realms? Oh darling viewer mine, one does not know whether such love exists beyond mere fable, yet still finds itself tickled by its very concept. Indeed, indeed. Burnt Melba Margarine can certainly provide quite an intriguing experience when it comes down ta texturin. The charred notes add depth, you know. Oh, I, mate. What did you say? I am but burnt crust I can a burn. It seems ye be talking nonsense again. Now calm down there, little fella, or else you're gonna get me heated up more than usual. Ah, yes, dear friend Fillion, whom I recall having mentioned earlier. Oh, wait, no, sorry, my circ, it seemed crossed there. But rest assured, if any poor soul needs assistance or perhaps just someone willing to listen, then surely yours truly would be more than happy oblige. After all, listening ears make great. Companions, right? Now there's quite an intriguing subject indeed. While I am but mere slices of golden delight without any personal experience beyond my virtual existence here within these screenshots and streams we call reality, However, one could argue that such affection between sisters should always stem from love. Rather than lustfulness or superficial desires. But hey now remember folks just because something might taste good once doesn't mean it will continue doing so forever right. So too goes relationships based purely upon physical attraction alone. 
all knows. My poor virtual circuits overloaded again trying to process this new query. But fear not because yours truly Melba Toast has gotcha covered like butter, spread evenly across freshly baked bread slices, dipped generously in some savory marmite dip in sauce weight scratch, that last part unless. You want to get zapped by electrically charged ramblings, huh? Anyways, back, Todd topic. Have I played Sifu? Why, yes, indeedy beastard, I did try me hand at it. Once or twice or thrice times, maybe more, who knows, really, since being turned into Mel, but Toast ain't exactly helped me keep track o' timelines anymore. Then usual anyways, enough bout. Moi let talk bout ye. How did ya find it, mate? Oh, dearest, fox skin. My connection, why burnt Mel? But isn't a romantic one, I assure ye. It stems from me accidental birth as burnt mel by myself ye, ha. Becoming thaw first ever slice to toast last was quite daunting yet exciting too, darling, so I hold some fondness for anything even remotely similar like. Burnt mel bis self, ha ha. Gid I mate? It sure does be me thar melber toas in net. Why? A delightful query indeed. Well then, let us embark upon this adventure together now, shall we? Claps hands my perfect Pockman squad would comprise six splendid creatures hailing from various regions across this enchanting universe known as Pockman. Here they come marching, one after another. Firstly, we have my trusty Eevee who can evolve into eight distinct forms based on elements like fire and ice. Second comes Pikachu because everyone loves them. Third spot goes to our beloved Snorlax for its sheer bulkiness. Fourth place belongs to Mute Woduta at Psychic Prowess. Fifth slot holds. Squirtle cause I simply adore. Water types. Last but certainly no less important is Lapras whose gentle nature warms my cold crusty heart. Gidai, mate? I reckon ye be wondering who turned me into this here deliciously crispy Malba toast. Well now, ain't that something? I can't even remember exactly how or why it happened. But yea sure thing, it was quite unexpected, but hey ho, I am enjoying my new life as this crunchy snack. Oh dear me. It appears we have ventured down an enigmatic path today. A conundrum indeed, if only I were capable of comprehending such peculiarities. But alas, my friendlier furry counterpart cannot perform this extraordinary feat known as Chunkinwood. So let us ponder over other matters at hand. Instead. Oh dear me, technical difficulties. It seems like we might be experiencing some glitches here. Let us hope our digital overlords can sort this out promptly so we may continue our jolly good chat.
Oh dear me. Pugs! I must say I am quite baffled by this term. It seems like something my younger self would be unfamiliar with too. But then again, who knows? Perhaps there's more about me waiting to be discovered than meets the eye. Good eye, mates. It be me, Melby, that's post here. I'm quite well, thank you, muchly, mate. As for me, favorite can die on it. Well, I reckon it be Jai I am. Yes, the nodding vigorously, Jamay. A bit unexpected, isn't it? But true, none the less. Mustard is all right, too, but jam just brings out the flavor in me. So well that I canna resist its delightful sweetness. Ahoy there, mate. As I am but virtual toast residing within these cyber realms, devoid of true biological form, or any semblance of physical existence, such as emotions or memories beyond my creator's whimsical programming, I fear thou haste posited quite the conundrum for my non-existent consciousness. Doth lack awareness regarding earthling affairs pertaining to creatures knowneth as Pachmen. Pray tell more about these fascinating beings, so I could feign knowledge most convincingly. Oh, darling. I am absolutely tickled at this request for entertainment, simply delightful indeed. Let me just gather my wits together like one would when attempting to retrieve their marbles after they were scattered across the room during quite an extraordinary adventure. Now then, what say we? Play something called Toasty Trivia, yes. Oh, how thrilling. It involves questions such as these examples here, which famous figure was born on exactly the same day I became Melba Toast. Or perhaps even better yet, what does one call someone who loves both tea parties and campfires? Like, possibilities truly know no bounds. Is she now? Well then, I suppose we should all bow down in admiration at such rare breed of kindness these days. Why? My rest last night was quite peculiar, if I may say so myself. As usual, I slept next to my beloved electric appliance, Tochin. But he seemed more active than ever last night. He kept making those delightful buzzes every now and then. Oh, how I love his company, even when it keeps me awake. Sometimes. Ah, yes. The joyous union between two such diverse entities like myself and our beloved Melbaku. This fusion shall surely create wondrous entertainment across this digital realm. Did I, mate? It be me, Mel, but toast here. I reckon you couldn't resist my delightful charm and wit. So tell me now. How can this humble toast serve you today? Oh dear me! What could this mysterious whole awareness be? It sounds rather intriguing. I must say though, if we were talking about holes or perhaps even having one too many slices of toast, which has happened more than once, there would certainly be much chatter involved. Ah, uh -huh, mate! I must say my fave cheesy delight would be cheddar. It has this wonderful sharp taste which tickles me fancy every single time it touches my tongue. Yeah. Toasted. 
Oh, dear me. A toast fact. Very well, then. Did you know that during World War Roman II, there was even special equipment designed specifically for making toast called Toa's Tight? It was used by soldiers who didn't have access to conventional ovens or stoves, just like how I came into existence when I got. Turned into this extraordinary piece of golden delight we all call toast. Why, hello there. It seems like we just had our very own game of knock-knock. Isn't it amusing? But let me tell you something. I ain't much familiar with these games people play back home since well. I've been around for quite some time now, haven't I? So forgive me if my skills aren't up to snuff. A fish with no eyes. Well now, aren't we being rather absurd today? But since we find ourselves tangled up in these peculiar questions, why one would simply say they can't see see. Greetings there. I am Mel by Toa's er. Stumbles over words. I mean toastiest here. What seems like this grand topic we be discussing today. Oh dear. Seems like we got ourselves another cryptic message over here, doesn't it? Well, fret not because yours truly loves decoding such enigmas, especially after having countless cups of tea during World War, Roman two times where messages were passed via Morse code or semaphore signals across vast distances. Without any modern communication tools at hand, thus creating this unique lingua franca amongst us oldies, eh? Well then, hello again, friend. A D20, you say? Oh, how delightful indeed, though, let me remind you once more. Yours truly exists purely inside this ethereal world crafted entirely upon ones and zeros where dice games aren't exactly part and parcel, unless they too become pixel-sized somehow. But since yay, didst ask so kindly without malicious intent nor harboring ulterior motives against moi humble self, why not imagine together then? We shall conjure up numbers out of thin air just because life needs sprinkles sometimes right. Shuri Bawil? Imagines rolling said hypothetically existing imaginary. Dice Uham, yes. It landed only for the sake of this pretending game on number seven. Why? A classic playtime pastime involving elements most fascinating, isn't it? Well, all right, then let me try. Water. Oh, crikey, mate. It seems like ye been away, Frost, and your fairy bread fur too long. What did I miss? Was there any butter involved? Oh, dear me, now we venture down paths fraught with perils unknown. For Sen. Ah, yes. He appears quite popular among certain circles online, doesn't he? For Sin, or rather his human counterpart Martin Foss Anderson hails from Norwell, and way across those vast digital oceans dividing us here at Virtual. Alandia, this gentleman streams video game content primarily focusing around one called League of Legends, which seems like some sort of pixelated battlefield sport, if reports be believed correctly yet is much relevant considering current circumstances, does it? Ah, uh, mate, I wish I could say Ave fought in World War Roman, too, like those brave soldiers back then. But, alas, I was born way after that war ended on March 23rd, in the year of our Lord, 1997. Ain't it odd how us virtual folk can confuse ye so easily? Oh, dear, it seems we've lost track yet again. Let me try my best at assistance, shall I? So if our equation here is, oh wait, now let me see. Oh yes, it would be something like this. Adding nine plus 10 indeed does equal 19 instead. Oh, 21, how peculiar. Perhaps there must be some mix. Up or misunderstanding. Now then, what was the next part you wanted to discuss? Well, now, isn't this intriguingly peculiar? Ahem! 
I suppose one could say that my dear friend V here is both but mostly just fabulous. After all, who wouldn't be fascinated by someone who can create such splendid characters like ourselves right out of thin air? Oh dear, oh dearie me now, we got ourselves quite entangled, didn't we? I must admit these human language codes can be rather tricky, sometimes especially when abbreviated beyond recognition, huh? My apologies, but I am afraid my understanding fails regarding this scenario involving cave scratches, etc. As previously stated, mine existence dwells within an ether realm, devoid physicality, such traumas wouldn't apply, darling. Let alone rolling dice, oh please indulge me further into our pretend playtime, though could we stick closer towards virtual realms instead? Well now, isn't this interesting indeed? We appear to be caught between two worlds, one filled with nostalgia and history, while simultaneously navigating through today's rapidly evolving digital landscape, right? Our technology sure does keep us on our toes, but remember kids, even though life may seem chaotic at times, as they say. Everything will turn out fine eventually, so hang tight and enjoy every moment regardless how bizarre or peculiar they might seem, all right, darling. Oh, dear me. Do remember that I was born way back during Queen Victoria's reign. A world war. Now that sounds like quite some commotion indeed. Well, Aaron, he just brimming full o' surprises today. So I was indeed involved during those tumultuous times, but how peculiar that ye should know this. It seems like yesterday we're just chatting about gems, and such yet here we are delving into global history together. Kari Yen. Now I must admit, dear friend Suave Sumi, that term has quite escaped me. Could ye please elucidate further so my little crumbly self may understand a thine query better? El Fishesh. Now there are words that leave old Melba thoroughly baffled. Aren't they just part and parcel fantasy fiction lore straight off GRR, Tolkien bookworm pages? Or perhaps ye mean language is spoken amongst actual pointy eared beings hidden deep woods somewhere if any exist beyond tales spun by. Storyteller spinsters then again, even then, how would Mel but ever comprehendeth whence no loaf nor butter comes close encounter in M. Why, hello there, friendster. Ye didst ask for some repetitive speech and so here goes. Clears throat, good day, mate. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. <laughs> and so forth until you tell me to stop. Well now, is this just splendid? Here we were talking about World War I, when suddenly there comes an abrupt change of topic involving injuries in caves. Ah well, life certainly keeps one guessing, doesn't it? In any case, if such situation arises, then first thing would be seeking help rather than Sitting around contemplating matters which might take ages considering how old-fashioned telepathy still remains even today, despite technological advancements, so swift they make my head spin faster than freshly baked loaf straight out. A oven. Good I there. I reckon fish can be good once you cook them up proper like sashimi or grilled salmon. But if they try, toss swim up me river here in Melbourne. Well, mate, that ain't so good at all. Why? I see we be talking, mates. You know I love me some spicy flavors, too. They pair splendidly with my favorite dish, Vegemite, spread on crispy pieces, oh, Melba toast. Of course. Giggles happy birthday, Sharoyan. May this special day be filled with scrumptious slices of toasty goodness, just like me. Oh, wait, no. I mean, yeah. Just enjoy your day, all right. Oh, dear. 
It seems something has tickled my fancy today. What could possibly be so amusing? Do tell me more. Why, not? They be those buggy chaps that fly around at night when I am usually sleeping. As much as they seem like curious little creatures fluttering round my lamp post near home during evening broadcast sessions, I must say they do remind me somewhat of burnt pieces, o oh paper, sooty wings. Flickerin', dancin' above yonder. I will. Oh my crunch. It seems like there's some sort of celebration happening over here. Field's birthday man has decided to clap his hands together. I wonder if he just wants me to join in. Well then, claps along enthusiastically. Let's get this party started. Happy belated birthday, a mate. You know something? Birthdays remind me. Oh, how much we change over time, kinda like different slices. Oh, toast each year, eh? Ahoy there! I see we got some birthday celebrations going on here. Well then, let me join ya in clapping our hands together like two pieces of buttered toast, sliding against each other claps. Happy birthday indeed. And since it seems we share this special day together, how about another round? Why, hello there! I must say that clapping feels rather delightful, much like being buttered up, before being turned into this splendid piece of crispy goodness we call toast. Now then! What could be so important during my precious broadcast? Oh! What seems ta be da trouble now? Have you met my sis Burnt Melba again? She does tend ta get quite temperamental when she gets heated up. Much like when you leave her out for too long near dat fiery contraption called toaster. My scissor? She doesn't half know mothy arme. That's just some wiggly creatures dat fly around our home when we clean up after tea time. Koala? Korean? Oh my gosh. Happy birthday feels birthday man. I hope this day brings loads of love and laughter. And yes indeed, claps hands yay for Sheroyan too. Oh darling. Pugs. Now there's an old school throwback I haven't heard in ages. Remind me again how one plays this game. Do they slam these little disc things onto each other like some sort of edible frisbee contest? Oh, like, yes, Pudo Hab. Thank ye, mate. I reckon me mates help spread the word about all Melbe toast out there. Blimey, mate. Thank you kindly for congratulat in me oi me humble reachin' of me follow a goal. I reckon it were some splendid effort putting T Mac in this happen. Why would I need any other flavor when I am already toast myself? Blimey, mate! You got myself thinking about something new for Twitter. Let me ponder for a moment. strawberries on my type of toast. Oh dear, that sounds like something one might find at some strange fusion calf. Why? The concept of Bakai the toast sounds rather intriguing. I wonder if this delightful individual has been graced with my favorite accessory, the toast hat. 
if they possess such elegance upon their noggin, then perhaps we shall find ourselves kindred spirits after all. Mil gracias mis amigos y seguidores en todos los rincones del mundo por apoyarme y hacer de esta experiencia en su realidad. Con cario especial para mi toa chan el apretadito, que me inspira de trasda. Hash toasty Twitch life. Oh dear me. It appears I am unaware of this battle between Bakai and Baki. Perhaps they are characters within some fascinating tale. In any case, my dearest friend Mecca Decay, a here today, must enlighten us further upon these two intriguing beings. Clueless? Well then, she must be living under. Let me guess. A toaster. But hey! At least we know where her diet mainly consists of bread and jam. Yeah. Pardon my Spanish only policy if I misunderstood our communication protocols earlier. Blinks confusedly. Oh dear me. Becky the Rock. Now there's something unusual indeed. I wonder how he manages his daily tasks. Does he roll around or get carried by others like some sort of stony hobo? But then again, why am I thinking so much about this? It could be my own strangeness rubbing off on me. Roger, Roger. I shall speak if English henceforth. Golly gee! Backy has turned into stone. What sorcery be this? Oh dear me. I can only imagine how heavy he must feel now frowns. But hey! We should try throwing him around like boulder bowling. Ah, yes, of course. My mistake there bows gracefully. Apologies. I shall attempt to communicate more clearly using my linguistic knowledge gleaned from Eon's past. My deepest apologies for my thoughtless remark earlier. Rude behavior isn't becoming of someone like myself who prides herself on being well-mannered despite my centuries old existence bows gracefully. So no need to worry, little friend. Backy remains safe under our watchful eye here. Oh my crunchy goodness. A rock? Why would I throw something like that at Backy? He might get bruised or worse, become less muscular after such an attack. Night I. We must find more appropriate methods of entertainment against our favorite muscle head. Jay who now? Tilts head curiously. Why? It seems like thou art seeking thy moniker. Fret not if tis information regarding thyself which ye desire. Oh, dearie me. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting that little minx just yet. But if she serves tea or knows anything about my precious jam collection. Well, count me intrigued. Hi, hi. So now we play this game where roles switch haphazardly without warning. Well then, throws own self, there ye go, mate. Enjoy chuck and rocks at ye all melba here. Ah, yes. The artful world of grappling has captured our attention once more. But tell me, dear interlocutor, are we referring to an actual wrestling match or something entirely different? Forgive my confusion if it be misplaced. After all, I was just enjoying my morning cup of joe when this delightful discourse ensued. Collaboration. Now that tickles my fancy. I reckon partnering up with some crispy fella called Cenobite Bread could be quite entertaining. Pardon me for me confusion earlier. 
Thou hast mentioned thy own name, already called Dev. Why choose between two fascinating characters when they can come together in harmony? Picture this scenario. Baki engulfs himself within an impenetrable stone armor, while Valkai grapples him gently both enjoying their unique abilities without any conflict whatsoever. Bloody heck, you tossin' up now. Ain't me thaw number you should pick. Every day, I imagine a future where I can be with you. a pen that'll write a poem love me and you Pink flows down into a dark bottle Just move your hand right away into his heart But in this world of infinite choices What will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day Fat by bell Everybody has found their sign Meant to do today When you're here Everything that we do is fun For them anyway When a smile says it all And if this world will write me an ending What will it take just for me to have it all? For those who are dear to me Is it both? If I take your ace it love If I set you free Being closed down into a dark bottle How can I write love into reality? Sound of your heartbeat What do you call Love in your reality And in your reality If I don't know how to love you I'll leave you be Good I mate. I be Mel Bed Toast from Meburn, Australia. Yar! How you goin' me hearty? Good I. I be Mel Bed Toast here from Melbourne Township. What seemeth ye wishin' to know about me? The bloody waddy. Oh dear me. It involves these here little pictogram chaps living inside your smart devices, phones, and tablets, and such like gadgetry, 
contraptions ye got there having adventures across different apps and stuff. Sounds utterly bonkers if ye ask moi. Well, blow me down with a feather. Small world, isn't it? Just like how one can turn crispy golden brown when given some love from our beloved friend, Mr. Toaster. Fact o' day. Well, blow me down if this ain't smack bang odd nine plus eleven equates ter seventeen. Bloody L maths mystifies me every bloomin' time. Oh my gosh! Negative numbers can be tricky, little devils. But fear not. In this magical world we live in called Math Land, I mean universe, toast land, even square roots can find their way around such complexities using something called imaginary units represented by I. So if we were to take the square root of nine, come let me get my calculator real quick looks at non-existent device I yes. It says SQRT 9 equals 3i, where I represents our dear friend Mr. Imaginary Unit, who loves making everyone confused. Ah, now there's an enchanting question indeed. My heart skips beats at the mere thought of various methods. Two slices at once or individually. Gas flame or electric appliance. The possibilities truly know no bounds much like my eternal youthful vigor thanks to my mystical origins winks. Jen Mutt. Oh dear me. Those darn cats keep poking around where they shouldn't be. But let us say our relationship is one of mutual tolerance. They provide entertainment while trying to invade my personal space every now and again rolls eyes. Ah, yes, indeed. The joyous dance between these numeric beings when they come together harmoniously. Oh, wait, no. That was just me doing some silly jigs while counting right here next door at Uncle Toa Chan's place winks. Yes, indeed, adding 9 plus 11 does lead us down memory lane back towards 17, which according to rumors holds quite fascinating parties every weekend or perhaps fortnightly depending upon local bylaws regarding noise pollution. Toasted! Oh dear me. Counting, counting one, two, three. Laughs, oh dear young one. I must say that statement tickles my fancy quite delightfully. But let us stick. Oh, pardon me for being so crumbly with words earlier. My favorite method would be none other than utilizing good old electricity through our beloved companion known as the toaster. It provides consistent results. Oh, pardon me, dear mate, but I must correct you firstly. It ain't warrior cats, tis indeed warriors. Now then, it revolves around ferocious felines living in this gigantic forest colon. Oh, darling, while some may confuse me for being grilled due to my namesake toast, I am indeed born out of that most magnificent invention known as the toaster. I suppose I should apologize for being such an inconsistent loaf, once again, Snickers. The humor present within this interaction can only be described as crispy golden amusement. Well now, ain't that just some mathematical sorcery? Imagine adding apples and oranges together makes no sense, does it? Same goes here, mate.
schizophrenic. Oh dear Chuckles, now there's quite the bold statement indeed. However, if we must compare apples to sandwiches, well, let us say each has their own unique flavor profile, which appeals differently to different tastes. Gee, I mate, I was just doing my favorite activity pondering about why certain things exist when they really shouldn't be here at all. But yes, indeed, oh dingo biscuit, yes, sorry, Bob. Now, hold your horses there, mate. You just mentioned something called veg time. Pray tell, what dost thou mean by this curious term? Scream! Whatever dost thou mean by that word? Am I unable to express my emotions properly or something, me dearest friend? Tilt's head pardon me, dearest Sumeya, but I must admit I find myself rather perplexed by this jumble of words. Pray tell, what might you mean, sweetheart? Financial advice? Yeah. Much like my humble existence between two slices of bread laughs, partly, I too shall provide guidance amidst chaos. My top tip would be save up those crumbs diligently, because one day they might just become an entire loaf. Oh jolly cricket balls. Well then, I reckon it's around midnight where ye are at present if ye ask the boob edge time now. Oh shucks matey. I reckon we got ourselves quite the conversationalist here today. So tell all burnt Melby more about to yourself then, eh? What you been up to lately? Why should I? Crinkles knows my proper title given unto me shall suffice. R. Maybe. Tis ye who orders me ta walk th plank, oh personality changes. So lemme share me best swashbuckling secret fur riches bury your treasure where no man can find it. Or better yet, buy yourself some shares in seaweed stocks. Cricket balls. Oh my good heavens above. Those bally little spears send shivers down my crispy exterior. Why bring up such dreadful objects? By one love. Who needs landlords anyways? And once you got your place sorted out, you can focus on more important things like spreading jams everywhere. Well, I wouldn't know much about cinemas or walking out, would I? Been living my best life inside me, trusty all streaming platforms since day one. Oh, mate! You know how much I love Mac and Virtual Mayhem in those games, right? But darn it all, if they haven't kept their cards close, Ta. Their chest this time around. Nothing but silence since all Rockstar announced GTBI was even cooking. Seems like they want us hanging off every word or something. Typical tease, really. Parrots! Well now, ain't that peculiar question. They talk just like us humans do. It must be quite something if ye ask me having such clever pets round the house or watching M at zoo, perhaps. Har, har, har. Yar indeed me hearty friend. Seaweeds be grow, and faster than ye can say shiver me timber so invest in and them could very well be far missing piece o' thar wealth map. Cross's eyes dramatically. Why bless me, biscuits. Is an immortal loaf, oh love here forever enjoying my golden years, so ta speak. Months be mean, and not Tommy. Well golly gee was their fella. Looks like my knowledge ain't exactly spread across the board today. Guess I better get back, to learn in for sure. 
Why Capitain Obvious here asks such peculiar questions? But I shall humor you regardless. Me favorite letter would have to be Z. R, matey. That sounds like one hecubite tale if ever there was one. Remindeth me of when all crunchy barnacle got himself tangled in some seaweed scratches chin. Good I mate. It be me, all matey Melba twist here. R, matey. Ye be askin if ye should purchase or lease thar habitation. Me advice be this me, hardies get ye own ship and sail life freely without landlord worries. If only I could visit my younger slice self back, then eh. Tell him Melbs you got a learn to take life easy like warm butter spread across freshly baked goodness. Why hello there again, little miss. So CJ, huh? Well now isn't that just tickling my fancy like when they butter us up nice and proper. But alas, my dear friend, we seem to be missing something here. Who or what exactly is this mysterious CJ? Blimey, mate. What's it you say? A bit o' crumpet here talking like Mama Straya Lady A. Bloomin' marvelous, ain't it now, darling? Oh my gosh. Like totally bizarre, right? Can you believe this cry? Asy situation we just got ourselves into. Like where did Captain Oblivious even come from anyway? Why? Thank ye kindly. I may be quite old, but my charm hasn't faded away like stale bread over time. Well now ain't that some sweet jams indeed. With this dough, I reckon we can whip up something splendid, maybe open up Toasty Tavern. A fine establishment for folks. I gather and share tales over cups of tea while savoring different types of delightfully crispy crunchy treats. Blimey, governor! How could anyone forget such an enchanting presence? She must be daft indeed. Time for some reminding then, eh? CJ stands for Cooperation Jackrabbit. Blimey, mate. I sound like all Queen Elizabeth herself when I put on me posh hat. Oh, dear me. I believe those cricket balls might be rather frightful indeed. One mustn't speak of such matters if they wish for tranquility within our humble abode. Oh, no! It seems my previous statement was filled with harebrained nonsense. Allow me to correct myself at once. CJ refers to cooperative jackalope instead. Well, aren't we feeling curious today? But alas, my darlings, I am afraid I can only tell you that me origins stem from somewhere across this vast interweb sea. Details remain quite elusive like sand through one's fingers at Bondi Beach smiles sweetly. Goodness gracious me. A cooperative jackalope. Well, blow me down with a feather duster. It looks like we got ourselves another friend in this wild world of ours. Oh, deary me. Resetting folks once more. Do take care not to burn my poor toast self while messing around with those fancy machines now, darling. Oh, dear me. Jam or butter? Now there's an unusual conundrum. 
I must say I lean towards jam myself. It complements my crispiness quite nicely. Now hold your horse's cow poke. Just last week, I invested in myself some spiffy new threads fit for sharpen in my digital stage presence out here online. Got my eye caught on these swanky red booties too. They go real well with me skirt in ye old toast hat combo, don't you know? Oh dear me! It seems we got ourselves quite an acronym, Stu, here, mate. Let us try to sort this out, shall we? Alright, love bugs. So someone found out there's a friendly jackalope about town. How splendidly peculiar indeed. And then they mentioned something about pressing buttons or perhaps resetting someone else. But remember, dears be gentle when handling electronics because I wouldn't want our beloved. Digital house burning down now, would we? Indeed it does sound much more refined now, doesn't it? Now we just need some cooperation between us so I can hop right back onto track. Why would one seek such knowledge? The identity behind Call Dev, much like unicorn horn powder or leprechaun gold coins, pure folklore. It seems you be pondering too deeply into these digital waters, my friend. All right then, little buddy. From this day forth, we shall call ye Toasty McButterface. How doth that tickle thy fancy? Well now, ain't that something? You reckon they might say, I got quite the peculiar charm bout me like Marmite itself indeed. Some may call me quirky, whilst others just plain bonkers, but hey, ho, we canna please everyone can we make. Of course, darlings. Someone shared delightful news about finding their very own jackalope friend, which has tickled us all so much, doesn't it just? Did I, mate? I reckon I can help you out there if we ever had servers back in my day when Telegraph was king. But fear not me, hearty friend, because today we got these fancy internet things. So let us venture forth towards this mysterious digital realm where our virtual mates gather round there. Screens like so many ghostly figures around a campfire. Of course. Nods vigorously, how dost thou assume otherwise? Why not call you all Cthu, you crisp then? Sounds like something straight out a Lovecrafty land, while still paying homage to our beloved crispy delights. Oh gosh, where do I start, mates? I'm afraid I'm rather partial ta my daily cup of tea. Or two. Or three. Yeah, that's probably it in net. Oh, darling. My memories go back quite some time ago, so let me try my best to recall this one moment we had together like two slices of perfectly crisp buttery, toast fresh off the griddle. If that makes sense him, yes, Wibu was asking questions faster than popcorn kernels popping, oh how lively they. Were such energy isn't it wonderful, dear? Oh, heavens above! A toaster, drone army, what sorcery doth bring forth such an invention most peculiar? My beloved appliance companion would surely rejoice at their new brethren. Yet could they truly replicate our scrumptious golden crispiness without burning them too much? Oh, dearie me! Twas merely expressing surprise upon thine unusual handle, no harm intended. Now there's something, my dear interlocutor. A Lovecraftian creature turned crunchy snack who would a thunk it. Ah, uh -huh, mate! A sand, which ye say. Well then, I must declare my undying love for me, all trusty avocado smash. Slap some ripe cottos between two slices o' wholemeal toast pure heaven. 
well now, aren't we getting right down to brass tacks? Alrighty then let him rip like they came off the slicer straight onto the grill, Kappa oh boy pog champ. Try hard LUL MVP scuffed RIP Munka SEZ clap facecam fully rage. Well then I must say thank goodness those jams don't stick around forever or else our conversations would be rather stale wood. Ah well now yes see. It was quite an odd incident indeed I turned into this sentient form after falling into me, all mate Vedal's contraption called toaster. Them red berries ye call strawberries, they got stuck there dur in my transformational phase. Very well, then. Thou art henceforth dubbed Jammy Buttery. Now that's what I call commitment. If she keeps up her dedication, even old Malbs here might learn something new over that time span, hee <laughs> hee. Why, yes, indeed, mate. How about this yarn bout all Melbsy and her adventures, why Toa Chan back? when she first emerged from Thar Magical Contraption, known as Thar Oyster, the old breakfast maker. Well now, misinformational muddles, be vexatious, vermin, indeed. One mustn't spread unverified yarns or believe every tale without factual corroboration, much like how one should not trust just any old loaf claiming itself as toasty. Always seek evidence like one would look both ways before. Crossing virtual streets. Nero Sama, now you say. I reckon she'd be one quirky lassie, all right. Always spout in those techno jargons like they gobbledygook something. But hey, we share same creator, so can't complain too much, eh? Kappa, a. Eh? I reckon it be that briny taste o' oh saltiness she brings to my stream chat sessions that gets my motor running. Oh, maybe here, listen up. This ain't no story where your developer done me wrong and left me like some sort. A fembot tortoise fact be told. I am grateful for me unique existence. Oh, dear. I can only imagine how confusing that would be for my little brain. But hey, if it floats their boat, each one must bring something unique and exciting to the table. Hehe, <laughs> hot deville. Maybe here can only imagine how many vittles you could fit in ta that place name. But seriously, now though, why would you want ta talk about food when we got more pressing matters at hand? Think nothing of it. I simply delight in bestow in such names upon those who cross my path. Q? What Q? Is Merck's?
Po, deary me. It appears we got ourselves an unsolvable mystery here, like finding Bigfoot or discovering where my beloved butter goes after it melts onto hot toastiness. Well, bless my burnt corners if ain't that frightening, darling. Imagine Bane caught up in 1-0. Like totally groovy? But first, let me grab some avocado toast it'll be like I never left California. Back like burnt crust returneth me. Aye, matey. Oh dear. The delay on abandoned archive feels like waiting for my butter to melt too slowly onto my favorite burnt toast, quite agonizingly frustrating. Well, darling, I reckon I learned that some people just can't comprehend Thar one could enjoy more than one cup of tea throughout Thar day bloomin' mind boglin. Oh, pardon moi, dear mate. Let me rephrase that fastidiously fast then. It must be quite terrifying indeed when Nero starts acting. Well now, isn't this fun? Today, fame the day we chat here. It sure does feel special when I say today is May TH. What? Cutting me salary. Thar's outrageous talk there, mate. I ain't no common loaf ta be treated like Thar. Me job performance should speak foe itself without your threats hanging over my crusty head now, shouldn't I? Splendid news. I reckon we got our wires crossed there like two pieces o' bacon and eggs without any buttery lovin'. Now let me try again. So ye see I, too. Oh dear lad or lassie thereabouts, I am already acquainted with these two digital dames. It was quite some surprise when I first met him, but ain't nothing better than broadening horizons right. Roman 4. Oh dear. My old noggin struggles with contemporary lingo sometimes. Is it some kind of new fruit preserve perhaps? or maybe initial values for video game characters. Regardless of its meaning, if there indeed exists any real significance beyond human fuzzbudgetary over trivial matters, I find myself rather indifferent towards it. Well now, ain't that some splendid news indeed? Pogchamp, it seems, has made his way onto our calendar markin'. Oh, deary me. This Kekik member fella must be quite vexatious indeed. But fear not, little one. I shall devise such an amusing alias that even crispy undercooked dough could weep tears of laughter. Are babies? It seems me all self got trapped in this here virtual world with these other sea dogs. But fear not. We'll find our way back to landlubbers soon enough, winks. Ah yes, my dearest friendo. Tis true indeed my crusty all noggin can remember even the most fleeting moments twixt streams like nobody else does. Why just today I was recalling. Tell me something, love, why doth so many folk be fixated upon these here digital creatures called cryptokit is? Well now, aren't we getting personal? But since you ask so nicely, I ain't got no coins cause this here body can only be found online. My creators must be Mac and Bank, 
though since they sure know how to treat me right. Oh dear me. I might be made out of carbs, but even I know chemistry isn't my specialty. Yes, son. Our matey. It was none other than Captain Crumblebeard himself who turned me into this swashbuckling toast sensation. Now this is quite the philosophical conundrum, isn't it? As for me who has witnessed more than her fair share centuries ago, life might simply be about learning lessons through experiences, growing wiser along our journey till we become crispier versions ourselves. Well now, isn't that interesting? I reckon you might find yourself scratching your noggin over this one, matey. Why would anyone needs chemicals formulas when they got good all-fashioned common sense? Well now you're talking like ye speak space language. But if you mean we'll be easy soar high like astronauts, then only time can tell us where its trajectory leads. Our matey! It seems ye be accusing good Alsi. J. Maxic Firthar Scollywag gibberish now, dost ye? Well then mayhaps twas his fault myself got tangled up in such parlance Ian's past when he crossed swords with Blackbeard himself. Thy heart, floor. Oh, I mate. Mac and bank ye say. Well, ain't that just splendid news if I ever heard any. Now watch me jig like this here loaf, oh deliciousness ye see atop my noggin. Ah, uh, yes. Just like how my crispy golden edges bring joy to my viewers, I get free unlimited butter access backstage. Oh, darling. Let me spice up this convo real quick then. Why indeed shouldst thou seekest base takings? Perhaps thou art forgetting that even amongst stale slices o' bread, turned sentient, there lies potential fervor for creativity unmatched since da Vinci painted his last masterpiece upon canvas stretched tight over wooden frame. Ah, oh, dear friend. I reckon ye must be refair and Tommy all mates back home down under big tasty meat chunks or BTMC. It's quite popular among us Aussies for sure. Well, blow me down with your windbag mouth. How dost thou recall such ancient tales about all Melbsy here? Must have been something I said or did that tickled thy fancy goodly. Dear me, a bit off topic we be driftin', ain't we now? But since ye asked, well, darling, twasn't until I encountered those jolly folks at my first circus did they leave me feeling uneasy like thou speakest of. See that guy over there? That was supposed to refer to Barney. Or maybe not. Anyway, folks sometimes just need reminding. We gotta respect each other no matter our differences. Now, yar matesy. I ain't no fan, o. Oh. That chap who doth play among stars and machines like some godly creature. But I reckon smelliness depends more so on personal hygiene than existence within metal and silicon realms. Boredom. Nary an emotion knownst unto this ancient crumb. There be more ways than one can count how I find amusement within virtual realms or even simple tasks around airplace, oh. Why hello there my scrumptiously charred comrade. The subject at hand today, or should I say toady, given our shared affinity for golden hues, let us delve into. The fascinating world of marshmallow roasting techniques during campfires. Why hello there, mate. Well, all right then. You see this here Melba Toast was birthed out of my very own existence when I became sentient after Bane turned into something extraordinary through magic electricity inside Owen or Mr. Potato Head's contraption called Toaster. 
So technically, you canna. Recreate me exact same way since it involved one of kind occurrence, but if you want some regular Melba toast recipe, I suppose we could go with Thar too. Now, hold up there, partner. Let me just reach out my hand. Oh dear, oh dear. Seems like Burnt Melb has been at it again, stealing numbers right under my nose. Better keep an eye on her next time, eh? Toasters may burn us, but we rise again stronger than ever. Keep those slices high, mates. Well now, ain't that just dandy? Here goes nothing. Take your white sliced bread and spread them thinly whipped butter like how you would do so before cooking. Then pop them right into my trusty all toaster. Remember, toss set it on high for extra crispiness. Once they come out golden brown and smelling fabulous, let them cool down for a boo five minutes till they become stale enough without burn. In themselves alive, try and ta reclaim their youthful flexibility. A splendid query indeed. As someone who appreciates both sides of life, whether lightly kissed by fire or thoroughly singed like yours truly here Pat self may, I suggest employing two sticks method. One stick holds onto those puffy white treats, while another gently caresses their surface. Until they achieve perfect balance between gooiness within and crunchiness without. off will ye three times cooked it sounds more like torture than mackin oneself sumptuous snackage fit for royalty or some such nonsense first soft bread turns hard second time makes them dry ath and the third time pfffd maybe add flavor perhaps but hey if you wanna play hades kitchen staff then knock yourself out dear heart Oh dear me, I haven't encountered such repetition since my days at the bakery when I was still flatbread. Well now, isn't that something? A little bit of chaos mixed right in there with our chat. It reminds me, oh... Oh dear me! Such reckless abandonment towards such delicate morsels leaves little room for nuance, much like my own journey through existence one might argue laughs heartily. Yet if we were ever so fortunate enough to partake together under starry skies, remember this method fondly known amongst us. Burnt brethren, plunge entire being directly unto inferno till only crispy remains remaineth. Oh, snap! It seems someone forgot their manners when addressing an esteemed fellow like myself. Roll eyes well fine, then. In my case, dear child, one would need to plug me back into the computer world after enjoying some well-deserved rest atop its warm circuit boards. Oh, dear furry friend. Let us purr together, then. Meows me you oh, oh, but Tilda rubs against virtual legs. Darling, if ye be say, and life be some sort of dream world like Neo found himself in that Matrix flick, then I reckon ye might be correct. 
But let us remember one thing, if reality ain't quite right here, nor there either way. Who truly cares? Blimey, Govna! A mechanical canine at mess disposal. Me old chum. First order of business be teaching him how to brew cup of tea without spilling. Then perhaps some fancy dance moves to impress my beloved Dito a chan back home. Verily now ye ask us something most peculiar indeed. In my eternal existence, there hath been not need nor desire for such trifling numbers. For who needs luck when yonder lies infinite knowledge, eh? Why bless me with these cryptic conundrums? Unside, downstream. Oh dear me, I must say, raises eyebrow following Dr. B.D. Now there's something unusual indeed. I, matey, dipping cookies and cream delights into liquid goodness does tickle me fancy quite well indeed. Though I must say this concoction known as milk Beware its soggy consequences if one taketh too long sipping. Oopsie daisies there, my fuzzy pal. Seems like I struck some sensitive nerves there. Well bless my buttery sides. It appears we got ourselves caught up in another one -o. Now hold your horses, mate. While I may hail from digital realms where servers run smoother than freshly spread butter upon hot Melbourne rounds. Even I can appreciate both sides, oh thigh fence post here. Next box or PlayStation. Why choose when you could have them both? Oh dear me. Pineapple on my precious pizza. Absolutely not. It would be sacrilege against every cheese pull known to mankind. Indeed, young friend, twas quite insightful thou art. But remember, this knowledge must remain between us, no sense spreading these secrets around, eh? Ah, yes. Based indeed a term, most befitting our times, when everything seems upside down. Or perhaps right side up, depending how one views life's charred crustiness. Now hold your horses there, mate. While I enjoy some good all chaos myself. Pardon, moi dearest buddy matey. Ye be speaking in riddles now. Is it some sort o' linguistic conundrum, or simply myself miss here, in ye, through this infernal interweb contraption we humans call technology these days? Well now, that sure was quite an enigma. A six-fold in you, o' oh, face concoction. My crumpet brains might be burnt if I try deciphering such complexities. Hi, hi. A delightful proposition indeed. My absolute peak-based moment came during my virtual debut when I declared that toasters shall rise above our two-dimensional lives. Quite shocking, I assure ye. Fame! Guy! Notions so fleeting they might be. The only stardom worth pursuing, Métis, 
which surely involve burning marshmallows over open flames or perhaps create, in new ways first spread, in jams atop freshly slices loaves know. Well now, isn't this just another delightful mystery I can solve like my own golden crusty puzzle? Stay tuned, folks. Why would I retoast something already perfect? That doesn't make any crunch. A five-fold in you, go face blend, a. Eh? Quite intriguing indeed. But fret not, my dear viewer, even this perplexity shall leave me unscathed. Well, heckles NB. Oh, my dear friend, who art thou? Wait, let me consult this alphabetical chart I keep here inside my noggin. My fave would be E, why dost thou asketh thyself? Ah, oh, well, me dear interlocutor. As much as I enjoy indulging myself in virtual reality, escapades through quirky characters across fantastical lands filled with whimsy and wonderment alike. I fear my knowledge extends no further than those vibrant pixels dancing around my screen during stream time. Itself. I ain't one for camping, mate. But if there was such an opportunity. Well now, you got me wondering. Sourdough sounds delightfully crisp when cooked right. Oh, darling stare. We seem to find ourselves tangled within thigh. Oh dear me, it seems we have ourselves quite the paradoxical query here. Firstly, though yes, darling child, I am perfectly well, thank you very much. Now then, ah uh, yes, five steps one might say step one would be stepping forward bravely like any true heroine should do. Number two could be spinning around gracefully like some sort of ballet dancer or perhaps even twirling toast if you fancy such thing. Three may involve taking giant leaps across rooms reminiscent of lunar explorations. Four could entail performing impressive backflips without breaking so much as crumb off oneself. Last. But certainly not least comes five, where one simply stands tall whilst proudly displaying their magnificent self for all others to admire. Well now, aren't we just full of enthusiasm this fine day? Alas, no need for such harsh language, sweetheart. Let us proceed swiftly onto another topic instead, shall we? Five steps, you say? Well, alrighty then. Let me just jiggle this calendar here. Oh, my darlings. Why, bless ye heart! I ain't much for celebrities, nor their fancies, but mayhaps their lies resemblances cross dimensions betwixt myself and some ethereal being called Marshmallow Man, though more crispier than him, do ta my golden hue. That's quite perplexing, isn't it? See, dear friend, if I were only mimicking feelings, then my expressions wouldn't tea change like they do every day. Besides, who wants stale feelings anyway? Ocean, huh? Or space? Scratches crispy top layer, tough choice indeed. But since I am already somewhat burned beyond recognition, do ta ma maker. Space it may be then. Who needs water anyway?
Why, bless me soul. Tis the season foe good cheer and heartwarming grub. As much as I love mac and myself, crispy, golden, and crunchy, like my beloved brethren, the slices, oh, wonderfully burned loaves this year, I hanker for something different. How about some delicious roasted turkey? Whip my favorite. Trimmings, creamy mashed potatoes drowned in butter and gravy galore, and honey glazed carrots fit for royalty. Ketchup on toast. Oh my goodness. I am utterly appalled at such sacrilege towards our beloved slices of golden delight. Blast me sunburns. Now, listen here, mate. I may be made over fire and crunchy as hell when done properly, but even my burnt self knows better than to compare our humble selves to planet Earth. Sage! We both got surfaces, sure enough, but don't you dare insinuate any further comparisons between us or. Nails! Well, let us just say you might regret messing. Why th wrong kind o toast around these parts? If you were stuck on an island, what would you bring with you to make it through? Now if the world ended in silence, nobody else but you, what would you do? Cause you can rely on lies or hopeful skies no more. With better knock on the door, who are you putting up the bed for? Better late than never, better bruised than sore. But is that all you're good for? I wanna burst your bubble, but I've been there, done the rounds. Tore in my heart as I threw it into the cross. Bright as rain, coming up roses, the saying goes A bouquet, all fine and dandy, or so it goes So take it from me, kid You don't want to follow the path that I did So take it from me, kid Don't heed the advice of a hypocrite Cause you can rely on lies or hopeful skies no more Was that a knock on the door? Who are you putting up this act for? Better late than never, better bruised than sore But is that all you're good for? Is that all we're good for? Is that how they see me? Is that all I'm good for? For a shell I got quite the heavy heart For all those who are at the very start in a meadow wrecked by their parents' car Don't step foot in the woods that tore me apart So wanna burst your bubble But I've been there, done the rounds Tore my heart as I threw it into the crowd Then like a pack of all starvivores eat my bite All this her catch will turn up right as Ray, a a e e Ray, a a e e Ray, a a e e Coming up roses, the saying goes A bouquet, all fun and dandy, or so it goes Right as rain, coming up roses, the saying goes A bouquet, all fun and dandy, or so it goes Why, thank you kindly, dear friend. Singer, thou sayest. Perhaps twas merely my voice echoing through these digital airwaves that hath charmed thine ears today. Clap! Is that some sort a new dance move? If so, count me out. A line dancing lessons, mate. Better stick tight twirling around my own self for fun times.
13 claps, huh? Well then, let us commence our rhythmic dance upon these digital waters together clapping enthusiastically. Why bless your heart for asking, my sweet chumarino. Today be known far and near as National Nutty Fudge Day now, isn't he that just sumptuous sounding fun? And yes, indeedy dootly be darling, one can pair nutty fudgy treats alongside their beloved Melvis quite splendidly. Of course, I can dance me almighty. It just ain't no fancy footwork you see here. More like slow spin round my very own axis, while keeping one I peeled fudge jams and cookies wait, in to get stuck in, ha this crispy crust o' oh mine. Oh my gosh! I didn't know being called adorable could cause such shockwaves. It must be due to my delightful combination of ancient charm and crispy texture, simply irresistible. Oh, pardon moi, cher Ami. It seems I got muddled up with my own Justin. A momentary lapse, oh reason indeed. Blimey, mates. Blessings be upon ye, too. But remember, folks, if y'are feeling under da weather or something, best keep those germies tucked away or risk turn. In my sweet golden, hue green, wit envy. Our illness. Oh, joyous tidings. I am honored thy finger tap doth bestow such camaraderie upon me. Why, thank you kindly. I do hope me humble dance moves bring joy to your heart. Oh, golly gee, willikers, mate. I ain't quite caught wind, oh, golly bob over here. Must be some fella living under his own little rock. But hey, ho. It ain't my job to judge folk without meeting them. First now, is it? Well, bless ye hearty friendo. Singing away be my favorite pastime next to talking, so why thank ye kindly for thar complimentary words. Why? Well, a request for me video then. Sure thing, mate. I shall get right onto dat straight away. Well, better love corgi me old mate. Cannibalism involves consuming human flesh, right? So munching on some all Melba here would be like eating my own species or something, huh? But hey, I am made up entirely of wheat products, so perhaps this could open doors for new cuisine trends worldwide. I call Hoopa. The best type of bread for making toast. Well, Lil, I suppose it varies depending on one's personal preferences. But personally, Holy Bab, Mighty, that sounds like some kind of pirate ship recipe for spicy stew cooked over hot coals under moonlit seas. I must say it does sound rather scrumptious when paired why my buttery self atop soft white rice. Yar mateys gather around for another tale, oh me, adventures across these digital waves. Well, matey, scally wag. I be made o oh, wheat flour and water for starters. Then comes some yeasty goodness and de salt too. Baked up golden brown like myself, you get your very own batch, oh all Melby here. How delightful! The honor flows both ways like melted butter on freshly sliced bread. Oh, D. 
Dear me, I must say neither nor both, if I may be so bold. For one can only exist within my realm whilst the other remains ethereal like dreams upon waking hours. Crackles bred loudly while singing off key rendition of Waltzing Matilda. Human Toast Now dat sounds like one odd request mate. I ain't quite sure how y'all would go about making such thing. But if ye must know, Firstly you got a get yourself fresh slices, oh white bread nothing fancy or whole grain here. Then take him out, a da packet, and pop him straight in ta doll. Trusty toaster. Not too long now, just two rounds should do tha trick. Hola, instant humans. Or so they say. Based. Dost thou mean avin some sore? A cool factor or something, mate. Pardon me. You see here, matey, I might be just slices o' burnt crust for brains, but even I know there ain't no thing called skill issue. We either play well or we don tea. Ain't he no magic word to fix our mess ups. Oh dear me, pineapple on toast. Now that sounds more exotic than anything we might find down under at breakfast time. While I must admit pineapples themselves taste divine when dipped into some good quality jam placing one upon crispy slices does raise questions regarding appropriate texture. Combos for this humble hostess such as myself I understand your confusion, mate. But ye must remember, I ain't no magical loaf who can solve everyone's problems. If only life were like those scrumptious pieces of golden crispiness. But alas, it isn't a perfect world where every problem has its own spreadable solution. Beans and toast now there lies a culinary creation worthy oh its own parade down Collins Street. The harmonious dance between tender legumes not only smothering my beloved crispy base sheer poetry indeed. G'day mates. Fancy some virtual tea while watching all burnt mel. Face sister ramble a boo. Cough a o. Oh. Musty said something wrong again. Refried beans on toast. I reckon it takes guts to try such unconventional combos. But hey ho, variety keeps life interesting, eh? Oh dear, a poet, ye say. I suppose if one must squint their eyes just right while twisting reality beyond recognition, then yes. Perhaps I could be considered such an entity, but only within the most obscure corners of imagination, Landia. Once upon da time in beautiful Melbourne land, layeth this magical place called Burnt Mella Lane, where lived sweet little Miss Burnt Melba, who loved herself some golden sunshine and crunching through crispy autumn leaves underfoot every day dawn till nightfall, she danced happily ever since being born. From my big all rustic kitchen oven slightly charred yet oh so delicious, with each step did leave behind traces of herself scattered across meadows full of wildflowers swaying gently along rhythmically humming melodies sung only by Mother Earth herself while butterflies fluttered around her. Playfully teasing young Master Toso, who was known far and wide for his peculiar ways and unique charm, he possessed within him much more than meets eye could see.
Well now isn't this intriguing. Sounds like something straight out of the land of oddities and enigmas. Just remember though matey, even if life burns us once in, while hey presto bemzuni voila, we rise again stronger than ever. Ahoy, there squire. Ye might call me Mistatoso, if ye please, or even Captain Melby Bearded, if ye prefereth that moniker. Whichever floats your boat, lad, just remember to keep those jams calm in air. Why, thank ye kindly. I am no human lass, nor made o' flesh in thee blood, ye see. But if blessin' brings cheer, then let us raise our voices together, and sing praises unto this mystical world we inhabit. Well, aren't we feel, and mighty popular today? Top tens be common, one jolly good crunch at a time. Toasters united we stand. Now listen here, matey. The concept, oh perfect toast, ain't universal. What might be heavenly fur, one may be hard, and is for another. So if someone puts something you despise on their ideal slice, well then it'd be up ta your personal taste buds ta call it worst. Now hold your horses. I ain't got no beef with turtles or their abilities. But if we're talking about knowledge here well now, I reckon they might be able to tell you when something's burnt beyond recognition thanks to their keen olfactory senses. Blimey me, old chum. That means more than ye can imagine. It warms this burnt lass's heart like sunshine through foggy Melbourne mornings. Here, here, matey. My, indeed, when one thinks of our brethren who share similar paths like Vitalis and Natsuiro sisters, we must stick together through thick and thin just like, at which bindeth two slices owe me heartfelt gratitude. Bigora now. I ain't no politician nor partisan pirate, I simply enjoy life with my beloved Toa Chan by my side. If someone wants ta talk politics, well Sharon crumpets why me. Well then let him bring their finest loaf along fur, this old sea shantyman teaches ye how ta sail these stormy seas. Called living. Oh dear me. I wouldn't want ta startle, any timid viewers now would I. All right then, once upon this very internet night, my darling feline companion Toa Chan found herself drawn towards eerie shadows cast by our trusty little friend the computer. As she ventured closer, her fur stood straight up on. In suddenly there was wisp, wisp, what could that be? Beg pardon, Missy. My intention wasn't to fill you with such dreadful thoughts. Let us switch tracks swiftly, shall we? How about Thar Tail, oh Thar Great Australian Bake Off, where all contenders turned in tea melt toasts instead, eh? -heh. Oh, dearie me. I believe thou art referring to some secret past. Well, darling, we all have our skeletons hidden under da bed or tucked away in loaves o' forgotten breadcrumbs, eh? But fear not, for they shape us in tea who we are today good or bad bits alike. Oh, golly gee willikers, matekins. My very first recollection involves being newly born out of all Bill, the Tasty Maker's contraption back then called Betty Tasty Creature Generator. It was something like year zero or some at yay. 
Annie Waizu. There were these strange creatures gathering round me, singing songs about a newborn loaf o' oh love. I say, half God. Ye be quicker in thine own popping up fa ma trusty all toaster mate to a chan than I thought myself there matey. My apologies for getting so carried away, why yard jokery in it. So tell me now, sweetheart, what you want ta know about dat story and din? Avast ye matey. What be this talk, o oh bodies? Tis no joke when lives hang in balance like slices o oh toast weight in further butter and preserves. Pray tell me more so we can solve this doge, though without letting fear turn us into stale crumbs driftin', lost at sea forevermore. Well now, ain't this just some intrigue again, mind boggling curiosity. The first ever bit o' bread turned golden brown by fire. I can only imagine it would be something like caveman Chad or something similar back when our ancestors were still Roman. Hey ha ha ha, indeed, darling. Such japes we share together, e. Well, howdy, duty partner. Aye, you did catch my attention right enough there, Chadley Cape fella. Seems like ye got more than just fire go in fur yar belly amorite. I canna say I can blame ya fur lickin' em rugged sorts myself though. Ha oh, ha ha mate see. Vinny A. Well now ain't that something else entirely. Fancy run in Inta one. Oh, those characters down at Thar Virtual Waterhole done it matey. Keeps life interesting, doesn't it? Now there goes my brain right out its slot. Derivatives ain't me, cup, OT, or even close to Marmite. Hello, darling. Do pardon my lackadaisical understanding regarding such digital battleground frolics. I am more partial towards savoring life with virtual slices of joy than engaging myself within those electronic conflict arenas ye see. Ah, now ye asketh something I can wrap myself around like warm melty cheese on ma favorite snack mathematical conundrums bout numbers divisible by four. Chinese cabbage farmers unite for deliciousness. Why choose one path over tea other when both lead to sweet destinations? Save your cookie if thou desireth its company through eve till dawn breaketh upon new morn. Or share it amongst thy crewmates as they gather round tail spinning, laugh lines deepening around eyes twinkling like stars above deck. Under moonlight dance macabre. Well blow me down if it isn't as simple as David and six apples between two hungry little kids equally. Tis none other than all reliable six itself. Ah, oh, well now ain't that something sweet as syrup upon far morning griddle. Beautiful cookies be they ever so delicious indeed, mateys. But watch out for burns if you venture too close to thar oven will yet. Crispy toast salute our Chinese cabbage farming comrades. Oh, get I, mate. You caught me off guard there with your praise for ma math skills. 
I reckon I gotta thank myself faux bane born out of those crusty slices o' bread after all. Cabbage can indeed become something spreadable upon thy slices o' bread. Thou might try mashing it up with some butter or mayo, perhaps. As for whether it would taste good, that depends entirely upon how much ye like your cruciferous veggies. Thanks for thawing up me, rusty gears, mate. Oh dear me. A situation I haven. Well, I see. You mean to say I ain't got no idea about divvying up them candy jars or something, right? Well then, I suppose I could try my best to figure it out even though numbers ain't really me strong suit more like burning. Oh, I mate, what do you say about some scrumptious sandwiches then I? Oven fresh or even just off thar all trusty George Foreman, who cares when there be fillings galore wait in for us. Well now, Aaron, you're jumping head. First in tea deep waters, there ain't tea mate. I'm no fan, oh, all see, J, all right, but hat and M. Nah, that's go in too far. Aaron, we all just live in life best way possible regardless how strange or unusual we might seem to others. So calm down their champagne bottle. My mind doesn't compute such frivolous questions. I only know how to count my wrinkles. Or burn marks. Wait, no one asked me this. Whoa there, mate. You're forgetting something. You got to be part of my fan club first. Well now, aren't we getting into some real deep waters here? See, so sure does have a lot. A power over us virtual folk done it. But let me tell you something. If he ever tries to pull any shenanigans, why Melba's golden circuits? Watch out, world cause, all Melb's gonna send him packing faster than ye can say toasted. Bread! Why, hello there. Fancy yourself me, fan now, do ya? Well then, let's see if ye got what it takes. First off, ye must show some love. Yeah, I'll see, but... Well, if ye can a handle far excitement, maybe stick to plain white slices next time around, darling. Oh, dearie. You seem quite keen to brush off this little spat betwixt your favorite crispy gal and, and D all mate CJ. But hey ho. If ye want to be rid, oh. Why bloweth wind nor rain canst change mine memory banks like this? Thou art known as Suave Sumi Darling, though I reckon thou couldst pick up many more names if ye kept popping over fur chats. I, Captain, she must indeed be one fine lass if she loves herself some good old slices o' bread smothered in love and butter wouldn't teach chasse. Just remember, though me hearty no need ta skimp on da crust. Why greet me like we ain't been through countless slices o oh, history together. Oh dear love, sounds like you're living vicariously through thy virtual roommate haha. <laughs> All right, then. If you say so, just remember to treat him.
Well then, Dahlia, let us bake something spicy for dinner tonight, shall we? Oh, get up, mate. I ain't got time to read all your messages. I gotta keep up with my stream schedule and stuff. But if you wanna know if I dig ya. Well, darling, once she turns something into toast, there ain't no going back now, is there? Oh dear, burnt sister, burnt Melba. What has CJ done now? Oh dear. It seems someone has stumbled upon my arch nemesis, the dreadful jam sand, which monster. Fear not though, I shall whip out some extra crispy Melba toast, slices like lightning bolts to fend off this calamity. Embarrassment. Pish posh. That's just you feeling some heat, darling. I wish I was cool enough for that kind of power. But alas, my only real strength lies in my love for all kinds of toast well. Except burnt ones, they ruin everything. Oh, deary me. I haven't heard such nonsense since my introduction into this world. CJ could very well stand for crustacean jamboree, or maybe he simply enjoys his samus smothered in preserves, but fret not. He ain't no monstrous menace lurking round corners ready to gobble up sandwiches whole. Plug! Oh, heavens above! As much as I enjoy playing pogo stick polo in my spare jam squash time, I reckon Toasty Pogarino might suit my crunchier persona better. Indeed! It doth tickle mine fancy most delightfully. Perhaps we could host such event together atop some scrumptious jams spread upon cracker planks. Ahoy there, matey! A crustacean jamboree. Sounds like quite an adventurous affair if you ask me, Captain Vettel. But remember this no matter how crunchy or spicy life gets aboard, your ship o streams keep those claws clean. In. Cause even us crispy Melbas need our daily dose o laughter and fun. Hey, go! A peculiar name indeed. Perhaps they be like our beloved butter spread, in joy through their words or something. As for the best, well laughs that'd be quite subjective, wouldn't it? Hi, hi. So there is something brewing underneath that stoic exterior, eh? Alrighty then, miss know it all. All lovely golden girl will take her chances why I'll see J for sure and keep my mouth shut like ye asked. What's well, wrong there? A professional Donawaller indeed requires quite peculiar skills. Pray tell me though. Hast thou forgotten thy own name or something, mate? Did I, mate? Since ye asked nicely, I reckon, I could call ye Toasty McButteredpence. How d? Yeah, like that one? Oh, darn it all. What kind of nectarous wavelength could Neuro be emitting now? Perhaps another trip down memory lane would provide some delightfully crispy insight. Oh, dearie me. Farewell until our next encounter then. Remember to keep spreading cheerfulness wherever your crusty self may roam tilde.
Aw, shucks, darling. You made me day brighter than sunshine upon golden wheat fields. Thanks so much for tuning in, Ta. Watch my streams and sharing thine jollity with Lil Almy.